Hi, and welcome back for this video. This video should show us how to add certain additional features, optional features that are within Windows that are not, shall we say, added at install time. Okay, for example, the older .NET versions or certain speech packs, language packs, etc. Okay, one way is to go to settings. Okay, very simply go over here, click on settings. If you haven't got that, just type in S-E-T-T-I-N-G-S. -T okay, and then open that up. Okay, basically it's in the system part, which is the very first one at the top. Click on system. Okay, and then app and features. Manage optional features. Okay, that'll basically tell you which ones you have currently. Okay, if you wanna, whoops, sorry, wrong one, add a feature. And then that'll scan to see which features can be added. Okay, now for example, you might wanna click on this one, okay, and then click install. And then give it some time, okay, it does take a little bit of time to kind of like warm up and start installing, okay. However, roughly depending on your speed, okay, you might need a restart or so. At the same time, there's another option where you can do it through control panel. Control panel, okay. Okay. Let's do that. And over here you have programs. And then uh, it is turn windows features on or off. This is the traditional classical view. Okay. Where you can then go through all of the options that you might have. Okay, for example, the .NET one, you click on there, click OK, and then basically it'll start downloading. Okay, that is a little bit more efficient. Okay, let's take, for example, one of these ones. Okay. English, English GB speech recognition. Click on install. Okay. Okay, install. Okay. And we go back. You will see it is installing. It does take time. Give it time. Make sure you have had all your updates done first. Okay, so basically make sure in your settings you've gone here and you're basically, it says your device is up to date. You make sure you've done that first. Okay, that's an issue. Okay. The final option, okay, and this is the good old techie way, okay, is to use PowerShell. Okay, make sure you run it as admin. You have to right click on it. Okay, do forgive us, our PC is running a little bit slow as we're running on multiple instances. Okay. Which means multiple computers running at the same time on one PC. Okay. Okay. Now that we've got Windows PowerShell up and running, we can basically do a search to see which optional features are installable. Okay. We will just use one of these commands that I've typed before. Okay. So it's a little bit easier. What this does, it'll search through the list of features that could be enabled. Okay. Now, what you do need to do is enable that feature. Okay, for example, in this instance, we're gonna be doing the .NET, okay, the 3 and 2, etc. all together. So it's basically enable dash windows optional feature dash online dash feature name .NET FX3. If highlighting this helps a little bit. Okay. Alright, so click on that. Just 
there we go. And now as you can see, it's enabling at the top. Okay, and then we should have the .NET system set up on our computer. It does take time depending on which feature you are installing. Okay, but it's a lovely little thing where it keeps going to all the little zeros. Okay. At the same time, once it's finished, I'll show you how to disable a feature. Okay, and at the end, that has installed our .NET 3 and earlier. Okay, if we wanted to disable a feature, the same thing. Okay, you just type disable. And that will basically disable it, and you'll get the kind of like the progress meter as well. Okay, the command that we showed before, okay, get Windows optional feature dash online, list all the features, and then this is the name that you're actually using when you type in the feature name over there. Okay, for example, Microsoft Hyper V. Okay, that would be installed. Okay, finally, let's just have a quick look. To make sure that all our features have been installed as requested. Okay, go to system over here. Okay, then it's apps and features, optional features. Okay, and if we see, we have our downloaded speech ones that we wanted. Okay, the GB typing, etc., etc., those speeches ones were downloaded. Okay, whoops, let's just go over there. All right, and we'll go to control panel. Okay, programs. And there you can see it's turned on the .NET as well. Okay. So these are the main ways. You have control panel, PC settings, and PowerShell. Hopefully this video has helped. Thanks for watching. Thank you.